It's a four on four as the spike does get secured over on that A site. Take flight. Got CP2 sending out his Al drone, looking for some intel. Gonna fire a dart over towards A main. Doesn't actually connect, it's a bit of a whiff. The retake is on here. Bergby's already in tree room, trying to take care of the door. It's getting closer and closer to breaking. Out of charges. But still nothing yet. It's a little bit slow of an approach right now from Renegades. His space station has control, but here comes Renegades flying into the site. Is Randy Savage to pick up the first one? Twinsome as well with a nice nade into hell, and it's all falling onto Roka as the race. Roka's found two, looking for a third. Not quite able to get into position. It was three on the round, but it was two on the attempted stop. The spike will be deep. Moving into position, there's two waiting left. right around the corner. Time is of the essence. Roka will make a peek here in just a moment. Spots the first one, just continues to hold down, goes for the dismiss, gets away and comes back for the follow-up. Getting some damage from behind, but the heal comes oh. through. And now they've snuck their way at the last second onto this B-site, but they've got to get there quick because they need to secure that spike. Ten the flash is coming out from Boostio will help yeah, slow things down, as does the hot hands. That helps guarantee that spike placement. So now, three on three post plant. Roka's pretty low on, or not Roka, the Reyna for Renegades, pretty low on HP. That's retro. Roka goes for the Emperor's Pop. So ult is up. And as retro goes in, goes down almost immediately to Roka. Roka now just putting in work. Uh -oh. Now has to go ahead and go for the reload. Bergie's rocking the shotgun sheriff combination, not only. They're going to be walking into an op this time around. <laughs> Quick and early dart comes out from CP2, and that's the ult being popped as well. Will the Hunter's Fury actually connect with anything? No, it does not. Run it back now, sent out by Space Station. As you see, Bustio again is pushed all the way through in mid, taken down eventually from behind. The whole team is grouping up. SF with the first kill, CP2 with an immediate trade out. But now they've got that mid control. They're basically doing exactly what they did last time, except it seems like they're actually going to dedicate themselves over to this A site. Now they do have to fight against Retro, who's managed to hide in the corner. How many can Retro get? Oh. He finds three from the corner. And now it's all down to Roka. So quickly that falls apart off of the play from Retro. Roka almost brings it back to a 1v1. And some of those early three room hits that this A site's a little bit weaker. They need to be a bit careful, but that opening pick's going to be right. huge to get this A site under control. Four on four with a minute and 10. Space Station do have control of the site and the spike will get planted. Now the door's left open. There's a big group. Yikes. That dart lands right on top of them. Look at the health remaining right now for Proppy. Now that ult taken care of pretty quickly. The position just works out really nicely here for Space Station. Again, who has multiple players grouped up in tree room. They're really betting everything on that one. You can see Proppy oh, is... Just so close to death. Now Roka gets taken down. It's a back and forth volley, but Profi has still managed to stay alive enough though that he's able to do some damage. Profi with just a few HP, able to survive long enough, and now it's forced it down to the 1v1. It's Randy Savage against Profi. Again, that low health is an issue, but the time, not going to be a problem here for Renegades. They've found themselves a seventh round as another retake comes through here on the A site. Winston powering it. We've got ourselves at the last round of the first half, run it back. Doesn't really do much outside of getting some information. Profi, though, picking off Winsome, leaves Retro isolated and alone. Now, there's the Aldrone fly out looking for him. Not going to get there in time. Now, the position is a little bit awkward. He's able to get away before that op shot comes through. That's important. But you can see where we're at right now. CP2 picks off Roka as, again, we see that mid-aggression coming in. But look at the damage dealt currently. You've got two players on Renegades, both low. CP2 on 5 HP, and their Omen down to about 50 health. Inski sticking around right now on short. They're kind of spread out. You've got players over in B main. You've got players on Catwalk as well. Now, the Killjoy ult is going to be used over on B, so that's lockdown being utilized. But there's actually no one present currently. 30 seconds There is left. a boatload of hardware waiting for them if they decide to go to this B site, and it looks like they will. So they're going to be trying to make their way into that B site. CP2 is going to do his best. Back from spawn with just a little bit of HP. Here comes the push. Curveball going out. Recon Dart is there as well. 14 seconds left. They are not leaving themselves a whole lot of time. Randy Savage can't get much done with just the Sheriff. 
They're gonna go ahead and try and stick the spike, but there's a huge ult! That actually stops the spike from being planted. The round is lost. It will oh. be an 8-4 as CP2 goes big One with just 5 eight. HP, getting 2 kills on the ult. Only position for defense. They're trying to peek out from heaven, but the door has been shut. So that makes that push a little bit flatter. It's a 5 on 4. The numbers the advantage area. for Renegades. They're in a great spot to try and take this pistol around, and that just made it a whole lot easier. One enemy remaining. And ASCII, you shall receive winsome. Pushing third map is actually where we're headed to next Haven. Looking at this gun round for SSG, Roka's gonna have to really hold on to this one. He does get blinded, at least for the time, by being by the Leer. Winsome's gonna fall, so the theatrics not gonna work out, but it's traded by Randy Savage. 4v4 as the spike's now about to be planted with an injured, injured Randy Savage and CP2. One or actually, no, he remaining. didn't fall. That's but I'm confused what happened. He does end up getting that spike down retro. It's all down to him. Empress available. Dismiss as well. He's got a lot of utility at his disposal. They might just try to rush him down. He's unfortunately wondering where those... Fury. So there is a possibility here. No we'll see what they can try to make work, work out here. There's that ult pop. That's going to be from Renegade's side. That's the Hunter's Fury. Retro wants to peek out. That's the first one going their direction. The heal's gonna come through. And that's a follow-up as wow. well for Retro. They line wow. up and Retro gets all. He doesn't even know what the word protect means. He's going in. Bustio will find him. Winston will fall. That's two for Bustio. Can he find the third? Give it to him. There's two members left. The wall goes up, but he wants more. Healing up, waiting for that utility to come through. Knows that there's a player on the opposite side of He made the arrow. It's not gonna work out against the Vandal. One more player remains. Can he find the ace? Yes, he can. Bustio with the ace, bringing SSG in away. And uh, of course, we have seen how Renegades likes to play towards this A site. Retro finding an early pick, clearing out the wine cellar, especially after that action that we saw in the previous round. Bustio managed to use the hot hands, find that control. Now he's on the opposite side of the map, holding down any sort of mid push. There's a tripwire there oh. once again. Whoa, what is happening? There's a lot of sheriffs in town, but so is the deputy. He's up in the heaven side. Inski not really gonna have a lot of success, so sheriffs will make him sit down. Vandal upgrade here for Winsome, and this round is all spike plant. But gone. Enemy down a Seth. You'll find Randy Savage, but he's in a 1v3 with a spike down on the A. Well, we said they could do it, but it's looking Almost impossible at this point. SF does get a big first kill, has to back off as that bolt's been popped. Oh, the rocket! Oh! Doesn't matter if you get around the corner. That Reminiscing back to the early days when this B hit would include a stage wall and a split to the left or a split to the right, but SSG have got other plans in store. Three members going to be pushing into the garage. An interesting paranoia to catch those players right in the middle of the courtyard. Proc is going to find two, remaining. but it's quickly traded. Bustio with two more. Is there one more player one in the pocket? Remaining. It's Winsome, and he's going to do some major damage to Frenzy and the utility. Now the paint shells, one more player. Oh my goodness, you lose some, but you also win. We're going to have long range fights to take. They're going to go toward B. Now, those shock darts, that's going to be painful somehow. Ooh. Some way, Bergy survives, but the player formerly known as Thug Waffle will eventually go down to Roka. is going to slide in with the knives, get a couple of kills himself, still has a few knives left. That's going to be three on the round, and it puts things down on the retro. The stinger in hand, not much can be done. There was a push coming in from both sides. It's good damage dealt by Renegades, taking it down to just two. But the round will go the way of SSG. But it's a great position for the Jet on the defensive side. Bustio's got to be a little bit more concerned because he gets sandwiched in. It was good to start, but now it all falls into Renegade's favor. They've got the picks, they've got the control. Now they can get that spike down. Ult's been popped by Winsome, and you can see everyone's running as far away as possible, wanting to avoid that rocket as it flies in. Alir allows one into position, but Roka can't do much with it. An SF. LMS. Just gonna be dropping the turret, the turret and trying to get away. Turret gets taken down immediately though, so that turret's not really gonna do much. SF just wants to survive. So they do find a round, but it's immediately traded back as Renegades again, unwilling and unwavering. They're not gonna surrender that scoreboard control. They wanna retain the lead in this first half, much like they did through the first half of that first map.
Well, that's not a start that you'd expect. <laughs> CP2 will be holding the op, loses to the Sheriff. Retro will be able to nullify that. As the early pushes down B and A long, or sorry, B, uh, C and A long, don't find much. That B site spike will be planted. Eco round for SSG, so they were just trying to find some early picks, and it's like, okay, well, there's the value, but it feels like until that point, you're just waiting for that to happen. Now, here, oh. SF has to go big. Unfortunately, not able to do so. SF is taken out pretty quickly by Retro, so only one kill coming in for Killjoy playing defense on the C site. Rook has picked off Bergy as well, trying to make things a little bit more favorable for SSG, and they do so. It's a four on three, but there's ults available for all three remaining players. They've got the knives available for Jet. Got Hunter's Fury, and they've also got the Neural no Theft. And there's Randy God, Savage right. waiting around the corner. He just need to know your position when you wander straight into the crosshair. That's uh, basically the main strength. And on this map, that's the gimmick that we're talking about. And it doesn't get utilized well here, which is disappointing to say the least. Oh, man. Rope is going to feel a face full of explosion there. Once he's going to find one more before he ends up falling. The knives go up and... They'll take One Seth down. Remaining. Two players remain as I Retro. Exactly Just going to pass the spike over. A player walks through. He still survives. Will end up falling. But it's still down to just one final player. Spike planted. Inski. Randy Savage rotating through B site. A player in the garage. Oh. Renegade's playing retake. Spike planted. As Retro finds the first pick. Pushing into the garage. Oh. You see a player there? I don't think he did. It was the double box where Seth is hiding behind. You have to pay attention to Winsome. That slow moving push back around as the smoke will have to push those players forward. Retro's going to jump in. He's going to find one in the second. So far, it's looking good for Renegades. Down to one final player. It's Profi. But it's Randy Savage that finds three on the money. And you highlight it. This is an important round for both teams. Space Station finds some momentum back, or Renegades can get on the retake. And that's why they win the pistol. That's why they find themselves at 12 or 10 rounds as well. Excuse Ooh. me. Now, Roka peeks out as the Leer does that early flash and makes it a little bit easier for him. Bustio has somehow gotten up short and right into the face of the defense. Bustio taken out, though, as Inski comes into the site as well. It's a back and forth affair. Renegades is a little bit light. As it's a three on two in favor of Space Station, they had no choice but to force. They could not save and allow Renegades to get to a higher point on the scoreboard. And you can see it working out nicely. Randy Savage is the only one left doing great damage as well here. Look at that both Roka and the Omen. Very low on HP as Roka gets underneath with a shotgun firing straight up into the. They're just taking their time getting there. Okay. Bucky's ready. Oh, it's just not enough to seal the deal. Bergy's at least going to find one before he's traded away. Down to two final players. Retro's got the knives. He's going to make them sing, at least for the time being. Two members on site, one player rotating slow. There's a player planting that spike, but he doesn't get it down. Swaps right over. Mixed down to Randy. But unfortunately, the only savage one considers the fact that Bergy's up on the box. He sees them all, but he wins the duel. Oh my goodness! Now he's going to use the dismiss to gather intel. There's going to be an Odin on the other side. It's spraying him through so he can't peek. But guess who's still there? It's Winsome. Right into the open arms. The plan was C all along. They're getting that spike planted and Randy is here to defend. The alarm bot comes out. It was a little scary there on that peak. As I had to be careful with Randy Savage in this position. SF just tucking into the corner and hoping to God that that Odin doesn't start sending bullets into that spot. It's not going to be so. The Boombot, though, could be coming into position pretty quickly. As it ricochets back and forth, there's the peak well played from Winsome. The ult being utilized as well to try and force him off the bomb. But now it's a two-on-one, and the spike is being stuck. Winsome peeks out. First one's going to be his. His target does get away, at least for the time being. There's the rocket being sent down, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even fuck. Getting a, at least a part of that, that this is tournament life for both these teams. Loser goes home. Winner goes to the playoffs tomorrow. Bergy is also going to be a winner today as he finds three with the buck. He's going to try to find that fourth, but it's already the defense that wrap around. Prop, he's got the op. But does he have the support? He's all on his lonesome. Hyenas, they smell that there's blood in the air. They are starting to hunt down. Poor little lion. Stuck in the corner. CP2 with the frenzy from range. More range than the op at this. Understandable in the moment. Just trying to fight your way out of it. Trying to give it your all. 
Goonies never say die. Now, Winsome will pick off SF, but there was an immediate trade there. So Profi fires right on oh. the back. There's Bergy with a trade back through the wall. Roka peeks with the Guardian and takes out Retro. So again, it's a ping pong round as they volley back and forth. It's a three on three ult advantage currently for Renegades, though, as they have Into the Shadows and Neural Theft. Not damage dealing capabilities, obviously, but stuff they can work with. On the A site, it's, it's lighter than what you've got over towards B and C, as you've got only one player from Renegades currently playing defense in that territory. Base station just going to play the waiting game. Don't have any of that intel. Now we're looking at a free cam here from our observers. This isn't a nifty little new and improved uh, cypher cam, <laughs> even though that would be pretty cool. Freestanding. Just looking at the setup here. TP in. Immediate frag there from Bergy, and he tries to hold down the, the spray for them, pushing in. Now you've got Renegades members coming in from both links. Randy going to be the closer one, as now he's holding down the angle, but he's a little bit smoked off, so he's got to be a little bit careful. Bustio going to jump on up, sees at least the bow and arrow for now. He's going to try to dodge, and Randy is going to be there to scoop things up down to the 1v1. Here comes the shock dart dismiss, going to at least help him survive for the time being. Now it's down to just CP. Two, he comes out on top, takes down Roka from behind the gong, and now Renegade's sitting at not only match. This is the first round that Renegades have swapped Randy over towards the the, uh, the A site, and Space Station will definitely feel that now as he finds his first opening pick. Blades out for Bustio, and he's looking to chop up some Renegades waiting through yellow. Winsome up above, and that makes sense. He wants to be able to get the dunk on him. Now they're going to start to work their way in. They need that recon bolt first. No flank coming in. They're going to all rely on the push forward. Oh my goodness, what a dunk. He just goes up over and under. One more player down in hell, and it's also Roku coming in from that long side. But they're working as a unit. CP2 with one, Retro with another, and that's going to be it. Space Station Gaming have been eliminated, and Renegades will move on. Defenders Cleaning up this map 13.